now now let that character die the character of doubting god right let that character die and bring on this character of being courageous why not because you are wise not because you are righteous but because you know that the lord your god he says that he will never leave you he will never forsake you hello welcome back guys um welcome back uh now if you're new to the channel please do uh hit the subscribe button on the bottom right of the screen or if you've already subscribed hit the notification button you know so that you don't miss um when new videos come onto the channel now if god has blessed you in any way please do leave a comment as well on how god has blessed you or how god has touched you in your personal life right um but with that said welcome once again welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about how god can make you courageous right how we should let that character die right that's our topic for today it says let that character die right and but before we start let us have a word of prayer father in the name of jesus lord may you speak to your children the best way that you see fit in the name of jesus christ i pray amen now today we're going to be getting our context from when moses died to when joshua took over right and this is when we look at the book of deuteronomy chapter 34 i believe deuteronomy chapter 34 and we look at um when joshua was now appointed to take over and to take the children of israel um over to 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 the, to the promised land right and if we look back you know our topic for today says that let that character die you know when we look at moses character and you look very closely from the beginning when god appointed him right we can see that moses was a doubtful man Moses was a person who was who was always in doubt. You know, when, when God uh, appointed him and told him, Moses, I want you to take my people. I want you to go to Egypt. You know, Moses was like, ah, God, but I cannot speak. You know, my, my, my tongue, like I stutter, you know, um, how can I do that? And we see Egypt is so big. I, I don't have the power to do that. Like, can't you send someone to go with me? Right. And that was Moses. And you see also as he goes further, he doubts God, he doubts um, even the power until the moment where God had instructed him to, you know, to, to say that, no, speak to the rock, but then he decided to hit it, right? Which shows there was a doubtfulness character within himself. But now when he dies and passes on, right? And if we read in Numbers chapter 13 and we go, um, Numbers chapter 13, right? And we try to check from verse 33, we see now that the character of Joshua, right is then introduced or you even go to number chapter 14 we realize that the character of joshua is introduced and this is when his character is introduced when um they'd come back from searching the land and um god says uh they come back and there's all the other guys that come back and they come back with the bad report and he comes back with caleb and says no guys let us actually go there and conquer we can actually we are actually able to go and conquer it if the lord delight in us right and this is the character that uh joshua has he has a courageous character and now when as we see here um it, there's a transition of character right there's a transition of character from the point where um moses died to when joshua uh came on to to to, to take the place of moses right we see that there's a transition of character moses was a doubtful person but now Joshua, as he comes in, he's a person of courage. He's a person of hopefulness. He's a person that looks forward to things and says nothing can conquer us if we are with God, right? And this is the character that Joshua has. And this is the character that we are saying today. Let that character die, the character of doubtfulness. I don't know how far God has taken you from wherever he took you from, right? I don't know how far you've been moving with God. I don't know how far, uh, how deep you were when God took you from wherever he took you from, right? But now it is the time to let go of a doubtful character, right? Now is the time to let go of that doubtful character. God is saying to you today that um, let go of it, you know, stop holding on to the character that doubts God. God has already shown you by taking you from where he took you from to the point of where you are right now in your life, right? And God is saying to you today that, stop 
being doubtful. Let that character die. Just as Moses died in the in the mount, let that character die as well. And say to yourself that today you are going to be courageous. For God says, do not fear, neither be dismayed. For I am the Lord, thy God. Right? It does not say the God of your parents or the God of anyone. He says, I am the Lord, your God. Right, you watching this today, God is saying, I am God. Not I don't just have history with other people and I don't have a relationship with you. No. God is saying, I am also your God. He says, I am the Lord thy God who goes before you. And God then says that um neither should you be dismayed nor afraid, for I am with thee. Right? And if you read Joshua chapter one verse 6 and you read joshua chapter 1 verse 7 and you read joshua chapter 1 verse 9 there's one message that keeps on being repeated there and the message is be ye of good courage and do not be afraid actually if you can just read verse 6 and 7 it says that be strong and of a good courage for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance for an inheritance the land which i swear unto their fathers to give them and then verse 7 also as well goes on to say that only be thou strong and very courageous, right? And um, that thou mayst observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, right? It then says that be ye courageous, be strong, be strong in who? Not in yourself, right? But be strong in the Lord, right? God says that um, he is not, you know, when, when, when the Bible speaks, Right, God, God, God speaks to us in different ways. God speaks to us in His pe peculiar ways that um, directly affect you. And you know, God is such a wonderful God. You know, He does not only use one method to speak to all of us, but He speaks to us in our personal needs. Which just shows that when He says, "I am the Lord your God," right, He's talking about a personal relationship with you, and He's saying to you today that don't be doubtful. Do not doubt what God can do in your life. He's already taking you from wherever you are. Now let that character die. The character of doubting God, right? Let that character die and bring on this character of being courageous. Why? Not because you are wise, not because you are righteous, but because you know that the Lord your God, he says that he will never leave you. He will never forsake you, right? He also goes before you. So before God goes five years in front of you, right? Before you even get there, right? So as you are right now, God is already 10 years in front and he knows that he knew today that you are going to be watching this video. God knew that you are going to be watching this video. It is not a mistake. Nothing happens by mistake. So God knew that you are going to be watching this video today. And God is saying to you today, be strong, be of good courage, right? Because what? I've already gone before you. I've already come up with a plan for you, right? God is saying, I've already gone in front of you. I've already made the way for you. All you have to do is ask God. You know, when you get to a certain situation, don't doubt and start to think of your own ways and start thinking, oh God, how am I going to do this? You start to stress once again. You start to doubt the power of God. But rather be ye strong and of good courage and the Lord shall certainly come through for you. And that is our message for today, right? Um, and with that said, let us have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for such a beautiful message to remind us to be of good courage and to be strong, not because you are wise, not because we, we know it all, but because you said in your word that you go before us and that you shall never leave us and you shall never fail us. This I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.